All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching later for our next deck, which is a donation deck. I should put that up on here. Donation deck. Uh, Bant tokens. Um, so we are a Hero of Precinct 1 Bant deck uh, where we're trying to go wide uh, with those. We've played a Bant tokens list before on stream, and this one's a tad different, but, you know, very similar. Uh, one thing that's different here is having incubation incongruity, which I actually think is a, a good choice. You know, if we need to find like a, a deputy, for example, um, we can go get that. If we need just like the instant speed removal spell, a lot of people won't be expecting that. Um, or, uh, you know, we can kind of do whatever, you know, we go go look for a Tristani, a hero, anything like that. I think that's that's kind of a, a good addition. I'm, I'm excited about that one. Um, and our sideboard is it's pretty similar. I like the Harpooners. I think that card's just really good these days, um, as y'all know. And we have a couple copies of Huatli. Uh, so hopefully we get to bring in Huatli and have it do some stuff. That will be nice. Um, yes, yeah, so there's no deposed deploy. So, like, what I what I had the last time I played this, I had some I had deposed deploys and I had some Teferis. That's kind of the difference. Um, and... Honestly, I wasn't too happy with Depose Deploy, just kind of overall. Uh, it just kind of seemed like pretty expensive. Like, my, my deck felt a little clunky with them. Um, uh, with the mana cost and everything. So this one, this is definitely lower to the ground. Um, and so I think I like it. So let's, let's give it a try. It's an Ode to Value Town. Okay. Bant tokens. <laughs> oh, hey, Evil Chuck. Welcome from Italy. I hope everything's going good over there in your italicized world I don't think that fits okay this, is, this looks like a pretty good opener uh, especially with having flower here we get, get to go get a forest hey crazy pyro gifting a sub to drake draxiak that gets some high votes in the channel. Thank you so much, Crazy Pyro. Enjoy those emotes, Drac. Hope you enjoy the sub. Um, that's number 15, so that means it's going to be pack time after this. Match. So we got turn two, Wow Growth Walker. Not what we want to see. And we'll play the forest they know about. Not what we want to see with our hand right now. <laughs> TG Chaos. Crazy Pyro going crazy. TG Chaos getting in on that sub hype as well. There you go. Love it. Love it, Drac. Nice. Good form. Good form. Hmm. Looks like I may need to incongruity the Wild Growth Walker, even though I don't really want to. So our, our opponent kept the cast down once and then ditched it because they wanted the Wild Growth Walker to be a 4-3. Don't have removal. Please don't have removal. Because if they have removal, we're going down to one. And that's not very much life. 
And they do. It's kind of the problem with incongruity, though, because even though we killed the uh, killed the wild growth walker, we just replaced the wild growth walker with having from four power to, to three power. I can like march and try to stay alive, but I mean that's that's not gonna not gonna be good enough. Um, so we want baffling end. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure exactly what I want to do just besides that. No, Lyra doesn't doesn't beat Golgari. Uh, like they have all their their chupacabras and and um, hostage shaker if they are Sultai and Vivian and all that kind of stuff. Especially Vivian, I don't like like having that be weak there. Um, Maybe I just kind of take out two type takers. No, I'm going to take out one incongruity and one flower. I only have three basics. I think I'm going to take out a flower. Could certainly not work out for us. Could not work out for us. This is risky going down on a land. All right, I like it. We have 21 land, four flower. Um, so taking the flower out, you know, means like 21 land, three flowers. So it's like 24 mana sources. Definitely glad that thing's a 1-2 and not a 2-3. Deck's not helping us out. Alright, gotta build this Selesnia control thumbnail. If I could have cast the Luxodon here, you know, it looks like I could have because, you know, it looks like we have five creatures in play, but of course we only got the other one from attacking with Amara. If we could have cast the Luxodon, I would have loved to do that. Looks like they're trying to kill my Shauna. <laughs> you can't kill Shauna with Ravenous Chupacabra. Doesn't work like that. Shauna uh, can't be the target of abilities, and that's what that's what that was was an ability. Yeah, you can still target Shauna with spells, but just not abilities.
Hmm. All right, let's get this Doom Whisper out of here. We're doing a lot for only having two mana. You know, if we would have just had like a third or fourth mana, like life would certainly be easier. Please do not have finality. Ugh. And start over. Best card they could possibly have. It's not a land. No lands ever. All right, we have it's a time to step out of the shadow. We kept a two lander, so we were trying. But well, we have 21 lands, but then we also have like the four, usually four flourishes. We, we only have three in the deck right now. So those three act as as other lands. Because, you know, like if we if we draw a flourish, it's like drawing a land. We get to go get one. So we basically have 24 lands for the most part. Oh my gosh, deck. Why are you doing this? We've drawn eight cards and not a single one of them has been a land. Eight cards. That was an unfortunate game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if we would have been... Yeah, I agree. If we would have uh, had like two more lands, we would have been able to kill them before that finality and everything. Could have got those Venerate Luxodons out a lot earlier. Alright, well this is a good looking hand. It's we have kind of a tough sequence here, whether we go hero or Amara. Um They're playing gates, huh? It doesn't make a, a big difference, like either way, next turn we have no matter which way we go, whether we lead with Amara or lead with Hero, next turn we have like the extra creature. Uh, the main difference is this way we get a lifelink creature. Yeah, hopefully it's not Nexus.
No red mana, no red mana. Hmm. So do we Do we go for the venerated Luxodon? Or do we just attack them for a bunch? Maybe both? all out. Going all out. Even a Gates of Blaze. Um, presumably if they have, they go like a red gate and then Gates of Blaze... Uh, that's only dealing three damage. And three damage doesn't kill the two Luxodons or the Shauna because the Shauna has the counter on it. So even if they have that, uh, we're still attacking for like 14. We'll see if they have a fog. Gates don't usually play fogs, right? Yes, they do. Gates with fog. I'm just trying to be the most annoying. We haven't actually seen any other colors from them, but we gotta assume that they have like more colors than just those. <clears throat> Negative 20. I have my contacts in today. Um, did some like writing and stuff on my treadmill earlier today. And so I put my contacts in for that. And yeah, I wore my glasses for close to a week straight. And so it kind of felt like Put it on in my contacts. All right, so stroke, negate, night of autumn. Um, probably don't need March. I'm kind of thinking to take out incubation incongruity. We don't really need the incongruity part. I guess maybe we do. They have like a big crisis. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm just going to take out Luxodon. Attack stuff didn't go very good. Um, uh, it was snowing yesterday, <clears throat> and so I couldn't make it down my mountain, so I, I had to reschedule for tomorrow. 
tried to reschedule, and so the, the time we I had was tomorrow and at 3, so that's why I have no stream tomorrow, because I'm, I'm going in at 3 p.m. tomorrow, you know, normal stream time. Um... Their hands a lot better this time. Of course, they're on the play. And with having Growth Spiral right away. Definitely an upgrade. So I'm not keeping up. <clears throat> I'm not keeping up uh, negate here, but getting rid of that guild summit so if they draw a, a gate, they don't just get to draw another card. I really like that. That was the bad part about not holding up the gate. All right, games. Have a good night. Have a good. See you back later. That three life means I don't have lethal here. Yeah, I've, I had 12 on the battlefield. Come on, 21 land deck. You're not supposed to be just flooding out. I'm not supposed to draw three lands in a row. Low grind, we're trying. Dang, I was just thinking that it was nice how our opponent was not drawing any gates for their guild summit. <clears throat> Deck. 
We just lost last match because we couldn't draw, you know, a third land. When this happens. I'm going to play a couple Hualis. Actually, let's take out deputies. Get these back in. Hmm. I mean, deputies just aren't aren't gonna, like, they're probably just gonna die though, right? Like, they'll take something but then die. I don't necessarily want any of these cards. Luxodon is good against Cannonade, and like we we have seen their their player be Cannonade, so I guess that's that's fair. Luxodon is good against Cannonade. I don't like. You know, playing Luxodon into like a Gates of Blaze. Um, but we did see them have a lot of cannonades as well. I really wish Incubation could get a land. Ugh. Those are like four cards I would like to draw. That's a bad Incubation. All right, so let's go, Amara. Come on, you can do it, Amara. Fortunately, we, we cannot get blue mana with this, but we did put two blue lands to the bottom with that previous incubation, so I like uh, shuffling those back in. I only put one blue land to the bottom. Yeah, this time we're not going to draw lands. Perfect. Um, do I want Dovin or Amara? Amara lets me keep up Disdainful Stroke. do that so if they have circuitous route that's like the the main thing I'd want to be able to counter is circuitous route Play Dove and I don't get to counter circuitous routes. 
I even supposed to have the sample stroke in this matchup? I stand you have on the shoulders of giants, giants. wanting. Please don't route, please don't route. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Gosh, why can't we just have two blue mana? <clears throat> we have four gates right now. Three gates. So that's have a gate. We draw land, we can like Tristani plus um, your mistake. Plus have the sample stroke available. I stand on the shoulders of giants. This is not good. Not good at all. Okay, at least an Anticipate doesn't draw a card, so they don't get a draw trigger from it. It's a lot better for us than, like, Charter Course would be. Hey, Zerf, doing good. Doing good. Oh, so many things equals death. I mean, Niv, Niv Mizzet is, is death. Can't beat Niv Mizzet. Can't even counter to visit. Even if we wanted to. If I try to flourish, um I try to flourish, it just kills one of my my th creatures. This is no mere trinket. Awesome, Dezave. Yeah, glad you're enjoying the Crixus Legends. Cool. Yeah, we have Conclave still in the deck, we just haven't drawn him. Honestly, don't think we can win this. I don't think we can win this. Nobody's perfect, even me. I was incorrect. Go ahead and gloat. Why couldn't they have the the fiery cannonades this game instead of the gates ablaze? So Disdainful Stroke probably just does not need to be in that matchup. We didn't even see anything to Disdainful Stroke, really. That card was pretty dead. All right, well, that was a, a quick 0-2. Um, 
fast enough to just to go ahead and run it back. So sorry, Crazy Pyro. I'll play it again for you. The the mana base was a little tough. You know, we've seen seen that with like uh, the different colors and everything. Hey, what's up, DJ Polly B? Thanks for resubbing there. Four whole months now. Thank you so much. That gets some hype in it. Always glad to have you in chat, DJ Polly B. Thank you so much. Sub number 17, and this says 93 now. Okay, um, I'm saving the incubation, you know, one, we may need the incongruity, two, I want to save it for the Hero Precinct 1. Let's go, let's try to go real wide, let's just go Hero, and then Hero, um, and then uh, start playing, like, all of our stuff. In fact, I'm... Okay, that's that's a good card to draw. Yeah, that, that's a good one. I, I like just flowering more than incubating here. And we're just going to try to go super wide and then march to go even wider. And then uh, hopefully after we march, we have a Tristani or a Flourish or something like that and we kill our opponent. Yeah, absolutely, Kane. Go ahead. Yeah. I never mind, like, that kind of links, you know, like, linking for, like, the mulligan rule, whatever that is. Um, even, like, linking to, like, your deck if, like, you know, if you're talking with somebody about a deck and you want to send a link with it. Never mind. With that kind of stuff. If I take this, dun, 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 dun. All right, sorry, finishing up the Selesnya Control uh, thumbnail for YouTube. All right, good. Um, You have been analyzed and found by a good assaulting. Take it down to Mexico. Be so cruel. And I never. Going back to my old school. Yeah, the, um, I battled a curious choice.
Hmm. Just gonna give, him, gonna give him cast down, which cast down, you know, is a removal spell for hero precinct one, but um I'm worried about Worried about like what they can possibly do with the Golgari Fine Broker. Oh, that got my blood pumping. No, like, so you, okay, so you, so I guess what the, the rule is, is you, you look at your seven, if you want a mulligan, you reshuffle and you draw seven again, and since it's your first mulligan, then you put one of the, one of your seven cards at the bottom of your library. Um, if you want a mulligan again, you reshuffle, uh, draw seven again, and it's your second mulligan, so you look at, so you take two cards and put them to the bottom of your library. Um... I think that that makes like your your five card hands are going to be pretty good. Like where you get to like look at seven cards and then put two at put two at the bottom. You know, just like disc. You know, it's just mind rot, but you still get it to like keep a good functional five and so on. Um, I'm honestly not a, a fan of the the mulligan rule. Honestly. I honestly like how it is right now. Yeah, so right now I'm going for a very large march of the multitudes. One, two, three, seven. Never didn't have it. This tech gimmick is worth it. Never didn't have it. Never didn't have it. All right, let's see. Hero Precinct 1 looked really good that game. Going so wide. <laughs> Opponent's like, but I was at like 30 something life or whatever. Whatever they're at, because of Wildgrowth Walker. Dun, dun, dun. So we saw them have multiple of the Golgari Fine Brokers and Karn. This seems like a disdainful stroke matchup. We got the one disdainful stroke over one incubation. And I th think I kind of want to just keep it the same besides that. Could bring in negates. Honestly, also. I, th I don't think I want Baffling End. I think I, I'm kind of off that plan. And honestly, I'm not sure about Conclave Tribunal. I could see Negates for Sweepers, you know, for Finalities and stuff like that. Uh, Disdainful Stroke. Like, if they're playing... I could certainly see them playing Ritual of Sid also. Hey Thane. Let's do that. Let's put in counter magic. 
Um, I don't need tribunal. Yeah, um, yeah, we went 0-2 our first league real fast, and so running it back um, for K Crazy Pyro. Crazy Pyro definitely deserves it. It was just such a short league. Okay, we got our got our two tithe takers. We got nothing else really besides that, but the opponent's got a pretty slow hand. No, it's not. It, yeah, it's going to be tested at that at that pro tour. Um, from what people are saying in chat, uh, that it's not, it's not like a guarantee that they're switching to that format. It was the exact same thing they did with the scry rule, though. Because before you just mulligan and you didn't get to scry, and you just had to keep your, your hand, um, but everybody liked the scry rule. And so then that was changed uh, right after that. That was uh, Pro Tour Vancouver. What's it called? Like the Vancouver Mulligan Roll? I think they just announced that today. As far as I know, like, people only started talking about that while I was streaming today. I didn't hear anything of, about it before that. So what I'm sure the Wizards are going to do, because the same thing they did with the with the Scribe Mulligan rule, you know, like they'll have it for that tournament, and and there'll be a lot of people from Wizards talking with all the players um, about it at that tournament, um, and everything. I'm sure they're going to get a lot of opinions about it at, at that tournament there. Getting the gifted sub from DJ Poly B. Please and that gets some hype. Thank you so much, Santa DJ. Gifting out some more subs. I do appreciate that. Sub number 18 on the day. Oh, come on, little computer. You can do it. Fight, fight through it. Oh wow, we went down even further. Now it says 102. The time has come. Yeah, so Choops kills the Tristani. Um, I don't. I don't even know when that London event is, so I don't, I don't know how long the players have to know about it. Um, Please stop. I probably shouldn't attack there. Am I actually going to cast March, though, this turn? I'm going to cast Flower? It's 
April 26th? Oh, yes, that's that's plenty of time out. It's February right now, and that's April 26th. Yes, they, they certainly gave enough time. Really hope they don't have finality. Yeah, our opponent did not like those hero precinct ones. I'll make use of that laser. I'm not giving them that finality. <laughs> no, bad finality. Get out of here. At least we know one of their finalities is over there. Did I bring in all these negates? I thought I did. Okay, trying again. Alright, I like this hand. I like it. So I'm going to lead with Hero of Precinct 1 this time. Because then we can play Amara and we don't have to attack. You know, like, Amara needs to attack. But if they go Branch Walker, I don't really want to attack with either of these into a Branch Walker per se. And actually, wow, growth can get kind of crazy. Let's just go ahead and, and deputy that. Because um, then, if, if they use removal spell on deputy, they're not using the removal spell on hero. Um, so that's also kind of good for me. We got our counter magic up. We can't stop a. Wait, no, we can't stop a chupacabra. Yeah, we can stop everything. Don't get to play the Luxon on though. Hmm. Maybe I just shouldn't have. Oh, honestly, I shouldn't have attacked. And then I could have Luxed on. I didn't really even think of that. I should have just not attacked that last turn.
Yeah, I should have not attacked that last turn. We could have maybe already won this. Um, I mean, well, we wouldn't have hit them for lethal. What do we have? Three, six, seven, eight. Actually. Do I attack with everything or nah? All right, let's say I attack with everything. They chump Luxodon and kill like hero. Um, they take two, four, six, eight, ten. They go down to two. Yeah, that's just that's just my play. Because Chupacabra is not going to save them here. They, it's like finality or bust for the opponent. And we have the negate. All right, counter magic, good. Counter magic, good to quite good. It's a good hand. Saw what happened there. Got that. Picked up that first win. Got on the board. One and zero oh in this league. Oh, I never published the Selesnya control. Hit that. Hit that. Publish. Breeding pool. Oh, what do we got going on over here? Drew to the cowl. All right, let's go with Hero, because uh, we may not be able to necessarily attack um, with Amar next turn. Yep. Well, we can get to the final boss without winning the first match. Yeah, we, we can lose the first one and then get the rest of them. Yeah, we won one. All right, Crazy Pyro. Gifting out of sub since we won a game. To be your guy, Ed. That's a good name. Welcome to the channel, Beer Guy Ed. Get those hype boats out there. Thanks, Crazy Pyro. Draxiak, thank you so much for getting those hype boats. Glad you're enjoying the gifted sub. No land. Deck, where's our lands? This is going to be who can go bigger. We need mana to go bigger. Okay. That's mana to start. We're going to be making really big creatures.
And we're gonna be going really wide. And we'll see which one um, has more success. Um, So if we're if our plan is to march here, casting Dovin or uh, Dovin or Tithe Taker actually costs the same amount of mana, huh? Never mind. Don't cost the same amount of mana. At least March of the Multitudes is not getting. Um, it's not getting spell pierced. See, they have another counter. Always countering. Let's do this for seven right now while they're tapped out. Nah. It's not like they have like good attacks anyway. I wanna wait a little longer. I think we could I don't think we have to do it right now. Um we can get another tight taker on the battlefield. I, I kinda wanna wait till we have like Tristani available. Cause like even if I if I marched for seven there, it's like what am I really doing with those seven creatures? Like not not much. Um Yeah, we have this battlefield and only three man three lands. Right? Beast Whisper is pretty ridiculous. BTK, 13th month. Welcome back. Thanks for that uh, resub there. No, I mean, if, if we would march here, we wouldn't we wouldn't do anything with the march. We don't, we don't need to march right now. All right, that means it's going to be pack time. After this, get in a pack. Celebrate into our next sub goal. So it's 103 now, man. Sub count's gone down a ton the last two days. That's all right. Yeah, Huatli's going to be a sideboard card that we're going to bring in here. Absolutely.
<laughs> so now I kind of want to march so then we can have Tristani when we untap if you know of course we draw the land obviously Yeah, Deputy Detention would be a good draw. Get rid of all the clan callers. They've drawn so many cards off this Beast Whisperer, it's unreal. Like, our, our opponent's drawn, I don't know, 15 cards with this Beast Whisperer? No, it's probably like 10. I think I only do seven, so I can pay for spell pierce. So it gets me nine creatures. We've seen them have spell pierce. They're keeping like that one blue up over there. They could of course have negate because they have the druid of the cowl also. Get him. Get him. Get him, Bear Volta. Bear Volta. That's a cool name. I like our opponent's name. All right, Lyra. Um, Watley. Baffling End. making waffles thanks for that sub waffles thank you so much I get some hype in the channel there we go love getting those hype boats in for the new subscribers absolutely yeah John Travolta but a bear all right down to 102 um what am I taking out, though? All of our cards are pretty good. Uh, let's take these out. I gotta take out three more. Don't really like upping my curve so much. Maybe the Dovins? One Amara, because it's not going to be able to, to attack. I'm only bringing in one Huatli, and we'll cut a Dovin also. <laughs> Thanks, Ox, singing the sub song. The sub song now. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, I would think our opponent's playing Vanquisher's Banner. Um, I don't think I want to put in Knight of Autumn just because of that, because maybe they don't have it. But they probably do. Alright, they're down to three cards. Hopefully no... No Frilled Mystics? Oh no, not that card. Not that annoying card.
That card draws him so many cards. So many cards. Oh no. That one's actual trouble. That gives him millions of manas. Millions of manas. Manas for Bear Volta. Ooh. That one's interesting. Millions of manas. Manas for free. Manas come in a Marwin. I need more presidents of the United States on my playlist. That is a combo. Have Lyra in play and then just go Huali, Huali minus one. <clears throat> they keep on having a blue mana up. I, I certainly think they have spell pierce. At least, or, you know, or maybe negate or something like that. So I, I'm not sure if I want to play the Huatli. Right now, Huatli minus one is, is plus seven, plus seven. All right, so I certainly think they have Frilled Mystic. Yeah, this looks like Frilled Mystic. Aaron Light. With that Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Aaron Light. So I, th I think this is not a good place to play anything. Because it would have got countered by that thing. That thing would have countered it. Yeah, double Beast Whisper is tough. They had the first Beast Whisper on turn three. This is going to be pretty tough. They haven't been attacking, though. That's good. They have this Marwin. So the Marwin can add nine mana, um, which can certainly. <laughs> yeah, they're playing elves. Um, no, I, I don't have any sweepers in my deck. I don't think they'll have sweepers in their deck either. We're we're both used to being the decks that go the widest. We don't need sweepers. They have 10 mana to use with all these cards. There we go. If I make these blocks, I'm taking 4, 8, 11, 17, 18, 19. I'm at 21. If 
they don't counter Huatli, they are dead. We can play Huatli around a spell pierce. They have to have specifically negate. I can do 13 in the air, which is why I made that block. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess I could have just thrown something in front of the 2 4. That's a good call. So I have to have like negate or disdainful stroke. You should surrender now. You're from the will of many, the might of one. There we go. Blouses. Two and oh. All right, pack time. Get into that sub goal during that match. Let's get a pack. Getting our Rivals of Ixalan pack. Here. Storm of the Vault. We have three of them. We're seeing if we can open up the fourth. Or if we get a Mythic. Nah. Champion of Dusk. Alright. Let's do another reset. Da, da. Yeah, I I think our opponent could have just left Frilled Mystic available. Like, they played the Frilled Mystic at our end step um, and got it out of their hand. I feel like they could have just untapped and just kind of kept that Frilled Mystic available and, you know, started to do, like, the attacking like they did, but still, you know, keep the four mana for Frilled Mystic. But I guess they have to keep five mana. Because we had the we had the three two, um, tight taker. <laughs> Turtle dunks. <laughs> Playing against turtle dunks. Um, it is pretty unfortunate that we can't ever get a, a blue mana with flower. Legion's landing. Come on, blue mana. Come on, blue mana. They had Incubation Druid? Do they even have Incubation Druid in their deck? Uh, only one. Um. Only one blue source out of those four cards down to the bottom. Okay, he was on the field. Oh, I missed I missed that one. So yeah, so I guess they just didn't have Frilled Mystic then. I was thinking they only had three mana. I thought they had like the two mana plus the you know, I saw the Druid of the Cowl. I missed the Incubation Druid. Hmm. 
All right, and then I think I'm just gonna get the uh, Benelish Marshal again with this deputy. I know taking the two hunted witnesses make it like really hard for them to uh, flip the landing, but Benelish Marshal is just such a better card. At least it's not heroic reinforcements. Heroic reinforcements be pretty scary. Alright, so March for two. We'll make the Shauna bigger. Get Tajik out of here. Attack for nine doesn't really do very much. Um, it does. It does make their attack with like their knights better though. I won't see. Do I attack with these lifelink things? Yeah, land would have been game. If we could have had land flourish, that would have been game. Um, I should have played the hero first, just to you know make the Shauna a ten ten. Like that, that was a mistake. Just going to attackers because that pumps the Shauna. Um, if we attack with all of these, they block one of these things and they take 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If I attack with all of these, they have to... They have to block Shauna, right? So that's... They block deputy. They're taking 17. Yeah, so they have to block Shauna. We can force them to chump. Am I, am I doing math wrong? 9 plus 8 is 17, right? Yeah. So I was going to try to wait a turn for flourish, but... So I guess the, the 9 or the 10 didn't matter uh, because we put lethal on the opponent, so they had to chump block anyway. Um, now, is it better to flower and get a 2-2? Get a two -two? No. Come on, computer, you can do it.
Sounds baby. Alright. How's the is the stream? Is the stream doing okay? I saw it went it went through a little jumpy spot there. I think it stabilized. I think it's stabilized. So we saw how good Deputy of Detention was that last game. So I like keeping the this hand, even though it's, you know, we only have like two things early. We have we have a little bit too much of our top end with the Dawnbringer, Luxodon, and March, but um, these first four cards are quite strong. We have all of our colors. Cool. It's good. We got all of our colors. We got... Um, we saw how good that deputy was that previous game. I'm leading with Amara here because Amara has two toughness against Hunted Witness. Um, you know, if I, if I play Tithe Taker... Like, Tithe Taker, I'm just blocking the bodyguard. Uh, this will... But then they get to attack with the witness also. This should prevent witness from just even uh, attacking, hopefully. Well, if they, if they would have let, if they would not have blocked Amara, then I would have had three creatures and I would have been able to play Shauna as a 3-3. Three, three. Um, okay. And I'll wait on Deputy to, of Detention. You know, I'm going to wait for, like, Benelish Marshall, something like that. So they get to Elephant first. And it was over. Hmm. Do I want to deputy their Tithe Taker and then Elephant myself? Maybe I'm supposed to deputy their elephant. I guess I should I should probably deputy the elephant. It's the biggest thing. We're down to twelve. This is kinda of scary if they have removal for the elephant. Kind of scary. Huh. Citywide bust, huh? That's pretty good. I 
Wasn't expecting that one. Yeah, busted. <laughs> busted. I need to stop saying hit. Hmm. Citywide bust. Hmm. Fishies with the tier two sub. Thank you so much, Fishies. Let's get some hype in the channel for our tier two sub. You're amazing, Fishies. Thank you. All right, so that's number 23. Get us down to that hundo mark. And two more subs and we'll be pack time again. We, we did get turtle dunked there. We got turtle dunked real good. Yeah, they're on a mold of five. So I went ahead and used the uh, used the flower to get my last basic. We already had we have three basics in the deck. We had two in our hand already. I'll save deputy. I could go with like the greedy line of like deputy the bodyguard attack in with Amara. Um, get that extra creature out there, but I want to. I kind of want to see what else they have. Game's not quite won yet. Our our hand isn't spectacular, but it looks like theirs is just really bad. It's time to march. Um, one, two. Oh, I shouldn't let that resolve. I should have marched before that resolved. That takes a creature away. I'll just march on my turn now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do it on my turn because of the tithe taker. Yeah, I was pretty surprised whenever they sacrificed their bodyguard as well, um, because of, like the ability to get it back. But all right, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. If they have like some kind of sweeper in white, I'll be surprised. All right, we're gonna be three and one. Oh no, three and oh? Three and oh? I know we went oh two in our first league, but I don't know why I was thinking that we had one loss.
We're just chilling over here with 30 tokens. Thirty-four attackers looks good. Yeah, <laughs> Convoke is pretty busted. Need to do some silly stuff. You gotta have, gotta have removal and everything. We had two March of the Multitudes, so we had thirty we got thirty tokens with them. And with like Amara tapping, making some tokens. Alright, three no. <laughs> I think you won. Yeah. Gallo for three? Are they saying that Joey Gallo is going to hit some triples? Joey, Joey Gallo doesn't hit triples. He's all about that home run. I'm not sure what this Gallo for three is all about. Go, Amara, go. Grixis. Grixis. <laughs> yeah, it's either... Yeah, uh, no W with Gallo. Um, but yeah, he's definitely a, a three true outcomes uh, player with the home run, walk, strikeout. I really like the Rangers' new hitting co coach this year, Louis Louis Ortiz. Um, pretty excited to see uh, how their young hitters grow this year. So I want Tristani, right? It's like the best card. But Tristani's also kind of forever away from being cast. So I'm just going to go with the Tithe Taker to, to put more pressure on the opponent. Daredevil. That's a good card. Daredevil Incubation. That's pretty sweet. Get a Thief of Sanity. That's really good. Can I go get that Tristani back? that Tristani again. Found it. Great draw step. Good job, deck. No removal, no removal. So 
So we got one more deck today after this one. Uh, we got Demir Quasi Sacrifice. So I'm kind of expecting instant speed removal to kill Tristani. Um, but I... Oh, no. I was not expecting that. It's not expecting that just to work. Hmm. Surprised they didn't do that after I blocked. I guess, okay, yeah, they didn't want me just to, to replay and everything. Let's leave the planes in hand in case we need to discard another card. Because, yeah, if, if my opponent, I guess, would have done the Tristani during their turn to save their Thief of Sanity, then I just get to play Tristani pre-combat, and then all, these are all, like, you know, two power, and then my opponent's, like, basically dead. Um... Still surprised they attacked with the Thief, though. If that's their plan, they could have just in combat made me bounce and then had Thief block something else, and then Thief would still be alive. Basically, I just shouldn't have bl blocked with the Thief. Yeah, only one Black Source is definitely good for us. They could have, they could be sitting on Ritual of Sit, not able to cast it. All right, let's go Stroke, Negate, Harpooner, question mark? I don't like Deputy... Um, Shauna's not as good here. We'll take out Shauna also. Kind of a little Shauna and Amara. And Luxodon. Um... I haven't quite decided yet, Sculpted Mind, with Saturday, Sunday. I I don't know. I don't really like streaming during Pro Tours. Um, no, I, I don't want Baffling End against Grixis. You know, we saw a couple creatures, but they are probably going to go less creature uh, heavy. Let me do this. I don't know. Maybe Baffling End is good against Thief of Sanity. I'll, I'll play one Baffling End. Sure. Instead of the Luxodon. Oh, thanks, Gold of Mine. Yeah, and the other thing is we'll have to see about the computer because... I So I'm planning on... Tomorrow I'm planning on trying to do computer surgery... To try to fix it, um, and and I have like a, I have a, my long uh, tax meeting tomorrow at three. That's why I have the no stream tomorrow, and then I'm going to be doing computer surgery as well. And so if that uh, if we have trouble with that, um, I may not be able to stream. We'll have to see. So this is this looks like it's a one lander, but it's a two lander. We got the flower sitting over there. Um, I think one of my fans is, is not working very well at all. Um, and so I ordered new fans that came in on came in from Amazon today while I was streaming here. Um, and so I'm gonna be trying to fix that. And I think it's causing the computer to overheat because we've had a lot of lag issues and everything recently. Um, let's incubation. Fans are easy, good. Good. My computer's in a really weird spot. It's like behind, it's behind my TV, like between a TV and a wall. 
And so it's it's gonna be tough to kind of get to. Like I have to like disconnect it altogether. I'm, that's one thing I'm not really looking forward to. And pull it out of there and then I, you try to reconnect it and everything. Wanting. But I know it's a fan problem. Um, not only can I hear it, uh, but also it recently, last couple of weeks, every time I start my computer up, it says like, you know, fan error and stuff like before just starting up, it goes to like a, a warning screen um, and so on. Yeah, they are all about that. Hey, Centrix, thanks for resubbing there. But I'll make an they are all about you. this. Thief of Sanity. Alright, 24 on the day, down to 99. No, I'm not looking to build a new computer, I don't think. Supposedly, it's labeled as the CPU fan. That's what it's labeled as. It's running, but it's like, um, you know, it's only running at a couple hundred RPMs instead of like, you know, a lot more RPMs than that. I constantly seek to innovate. So, yeah, so hopefully, you get... okay, it's just, yeah, yeah, and hopefully I got the correct part, I got the one that my friend recommended me to buy, uh, he's the one that, um, built the computer, he built it, so, but of course he's back in Texas, so, not here to help me fix it. Uh, I don't know what repasting it means. Did you get thermal paste? I don't think so. No, I, I just got the fans. I didn't purchase any thermal paste. Why would you not play the Hero Precinct 1 first, opponent? You're doing me a favor. There, there is a thermal paste between the fan and the processor, so it's important to redo it. Ooh. So should I... Okay, you have to do it. Um, can I get like thermal paste at like, I don't know, just like a, a Best Buy or something? I can, I can see what I got. Even with my insight, I didn't foresee this.
This is what I got as far as fangs go. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what the exact problem is. I just know that the, the fan isn't working very properly anymore. All right, so it definitely looks like our opponent, like I think our opponent's going to have a sweeper here. Oh. I guess I should have thought of that. Um... I only get three. I don't think I played the last two turns very well. Um, I think I should have marched the turn before, and I also think that I should have, um, I also think I probably should have just not blocked or, or double blocked, I, w I was thinking, yeah, I should have just probably just attacked those things. I was thinking they were going to have a sweeper. Be careful with the rubber grommets. Yeah, Flourish was lethal. I didn't, I didn't have, you know, six mana to cast Flourish. Miss. Dang, they didn't miss. That's a good draw. Give me back that Harpooner. Thank you. I'll take that Harpooner. Thank you very much. Yeah, you tried to eat some of my Chinese food there? Yeah, didn't taste so good, did it? Too sugary for you. You can't button it. Down to one. Cheese on your impending failure. Hooray! Good job, Hawkeye. We got there, boy. No, the Hawkeye's Cats deck video isn't going to be uploaded to YouTube. Um, I realized while I was playing that I forgot to hit the record button on that one. Okay, Hawkeye, you know what time it is, right? You know what time it is. That's right. We have won four in our league.
let's have you let's have you fight the final boss. You ready to help us out? Yeah, you can you can find it on uh, on the like it's still in the Twitch. Um, if you go to my Twitch videos, go to two days ago. You know when I stream, you can you can see the deck there. Um, you can see us play it there. You can also watch the or you can also check out the deck list um, on Stream Decker. Also. Uh, that's a lame final boss. Hawkeye, you're too strong. You're too strong. Yeah, we were really close to the final boss with Angels and Knights. It was looking good there with us being at 3 0. Did not live up to boss music. That one was quick. Too strong, Hawkeye. Too strong. So, we we started with um. So we started with an O2. Uh, we tried the deck first when O2 um, had some kind of some kind of poor draws and, and everything. Some some poor mana situations. Um, but then tried it again and, you know, went 4-0. Uh, you know, we didn't have to really do anything for that last match, so we were 4-0. Tristani was awesome. Yeah. Dovin, uh, Dovin did pretty good for us. Basically, a lot of the cards were good. I think the card I liked the least in the deck was Incubation. Incongruity. I don't think I really liked that card too much. Um, I, I mean, we... It is kind of good to have some more removal, but Incongruity as a removal spell felt really bad against a Wild Growth Walker before. I think this was my least favorite card. If It kind of feels wrong not having History of Benalia in the deck. Um, I could see these going in. I could see like these three plus one Dovin being four History of Benalias. Um, I think this, this was my least favorite card. Sideboard felt pretty good. Uh, we got to we got to kill somebody with Hawatli. We got to kill an elves player, um, so that was uh, that was uh, pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, Lyra, Knight of Autumn, Kral Harpooner uh, did some good work for us. Counter counter magic was good. Um, you know, we got to counter some stuff against Sultai. Um, countering a, a hostage taker with Sustainful Stroke was awesome. Um, but I think I think that's like the one thing is I I didn't really like Incubation. Um, Maybe even a twenty second land. Mana was a was a was a problem for sure. And with being a three color deck sorry, just a second. Sorry, I think um <clears throat> I think green white tokens can get away with a twenty one lands because it's a three color deck. Or sorry, because it's a two color deck. But being the three color deck and needing like three different colors, I kind of want a 20 second land in here. Um, so that's another option there. It would be a 20 second land. Um, so, uh, Bant tokens did pretty good. It's really like Bant hero. Um, in incubation was good with hero, of course. Uh, but there we go. All right, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make Hawkeye happy. Right, okay? Yeah. And uh, that's...